उपमा So, okay. Let's rewind the story a little bit. When she was pregnant, she was a regular visitor at our house. So, she would come around and then she would start meowing, we'd hand out food, and then she, you know, in the beginning she immediately left. She didn't trust us at all. But eventually, she grew to trust us. She trusted us so much that she ended up giving birth in our house. And I love you, Puma, but your attitude towards other cats changed drastically after you gave birth. So she gave birth to four kittens, and immediately after that, once we started hearing those little tiny meows, she was on full territory alert mode on with other cats, and even us sometimes when we get a little bit too close to her to her nest, right? I mean, like sometimes we had no idea. She likes to move them a bit, probably to keep them clean as well as keep them safe. Yeah, hmm. but she's never attacked us or anything. So she is a short hair, as you can see. Obviously, she's very lively and affectionate, but she's an outdoors cat. So I don't think she she doesn't really play with us that much. She mostly seeks attention and food from us. So. Puma has an interesting habit when it comes to eating. She looks like we've never fed her in her, in her entire life, but which is a lie. She eats every couple of hours, but she will always, always, as a token of her appreciation, end up leaving just one tiny pellet inside the bowl. So she gave birth to four kittens, and what's very interesting is that two of them are. Dark brownish colored, like their mom, and the other two are kind of like panda colored. We once saw a cat, a male cat, that was that color. So maybe that's the father. But anyways, we've decided to name the lightest in shade cappuccino, and the darkest in shade is Joko for chocolate. And the two panda ones have kopi susu, are called kopi susu and cafe latte. Kopi susu means coffee with milk, literally in Indonesian, by the way. It makes sense. There are drinks. There are a collection of adorable little <laughs> drink named kittens. So they're now about like ten days old, a little bit older. They're starting to open their eyes. It's absolutely adorable. We haven't interacted with them yet because we don't want to alarm the mom. She's a bit sensitive when she when we're around them. She allows us to come close, but she, she yeah, I pro she probably doesn't prefer us touching them, right? So we decided to leave them be, and then maybe when they're a little bit older and start getting out to play, we can socialize them more. So I sleep in the next room over from where she keeps them, and I have to say they're quite loud. Their meows, especially in the middle of the night when they're hungry or something, and she's not there. Rare for them to meow like that because she's normally always with them. But sometimes it does happen. She likes to go out. She's an outdoor cat, and she likes to guard in front of our fence, which is absolutely hilarious. It's like she's a she's like our gatekeeper. She's she's sitting there, and it's very cute. And anyways, well, but these five bring a lot of joy into our lives. And by the way, it is our first time having kittens. We've had a lot of stray cats over, but most of them don't end up becoming permanent residents. She's pretty much the only one who stayed. And we're open to any advice and tips or tricks you may have. So please make sure to leave them in the comments below, as well as any good middle names or something for the kittens. It's so cute. And well, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and bye.